Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pisa Makeover. Today I'm joined by the best friends, guys. Guys, so today we're going to be checking out uh, nine years old boy asks a very difficult question to Dr. Zaki Nick. I wonder what the question will be about though. When I saw this on YouTube, I was like, I really want to see this. I want to know what the conversation is going to be about. So without further ado, let's get started. My name is David. I'm studying in 6th standard. My question is, why non-Muslim children are not allowing in your school to join? They can learn Arabic and become Muslims also. They can learn Arabic and become Muslims also. Alhamdulillah. Young brother David, age 9 years old, asking the question, why are non-Muslim children not allowed to enter your school so that they can learn Arabic? and they can accept Islam. Brother asked a very difficult question to me, one of the most difficult questions. Brother, our school, Islamic International School, it's a school that is mainly talking about the formal education and Islamic education. We don't want to make our school as a conversion center because children are entering at a very small age. We don't want people to say that we are enrolling people of six years old and nine years old and forcing them to accept Islam. What we would like to say that if your parents are convinced about the faith of this religion and if they want to put you in this school, we have no problem. But a child himself comes. May Allah give you hidayah, I can pray. I cannot say that a child cannot accept Islam. It's wrong. He can. But what I would like to say that if your parents come and have the right to follow the rules and regulation of the school, then we have no problem in accepting you. So ask your parents to come to our school and the rules and regulations that are there, there are many rules and regulations. As long as they do not mind following the rules and regulations, attending our lectures, leading the Quran, you want to learn Arabic, you want to accept, there's no problem. See to it that because they have to follow the law of the country also. Ask your parents, let them come, let them interact with the management. And if they agree with the rules and regulations, inshallah, inshallah, I'm sure there will not be any problem, especially you, brother, because I've asked the question. To get in the school is difficult. To get into Islamic International School is one of the most difficult. But inshallah, because you have asked the question, ask your parents to meet Brother Zakir. And inshallah, if they agree to follow the rules and regulations, admission will be very easy, inshallah. For you, inshallah. Hope that answers the question. Huh? Wow. <laughs> See, this is the first time I'm agreeing with this man. <laughs> First time I'm accepting what he say. Yeah. Totally true, I understand. And um you know, when you take in kids who are not like um the same religion. The same religion as you and you are telling them to practice this because it's the according to the rule and regulation mm -hmm. and the students like I was not brought up like this, uh, I can't practice, you can't force me to I feel like you're disrespecting the authorities. Yeah. So in respect for them to avoid such um issues they will have to like if you know your kid won't accept um the rules and regulations of the school make sure you don't bring them yeah. don't just bring them in the first place yeah because once the child is acting stubborn the friends and other colleagues start acting stubborn yeah. again towards the authorities so it's it's very very true and uh truly accept this with him but it's also a very nice way to get people to come to your religion because um, I attended a Catholic school. Um, I'm not um, a Catholic, I'm a Pentecostal. So me attending Catholic school, I was able to learn some things from um, Catholics. So the, the sermon, how they, by 12 they are going to pray, um, by 6 they are also going to pray. I was, trying, like, I was observing them, I was, I was also learning and loving it in some way. When they were kneeled down, they were all further to what's can I pray so I was kind of like getting used to it I'm like wow this is another kind of like experience in life you have to like go through and see how these yeah. other people how they act like so him saying such I truly accept it because Islamic Islam is different from um, Catholic and Pentecostal because their doctrine is way way different in some certain way that they don't believe in um, that Jesus Christ died for our sins they don't believe in the Holy Spirit at least, um, we know Catholic believe in such. Um, yeah, just that different ways of praying. Yeah, we stuff. know Catholic believe in such, and Pentecostals also believe um, in the Holy Spirit and Jesus died. 
but most of them do not accept that. So it's, uh, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like skeptical a bit. So it's understandable um, his opinion has yeah. instructed the kid, make sure you go tell your parents um, if they are able to abide by the rules and regulation, not the most they can come to our school and uh, study. That is totally true, and I truly yeah. accept that with him. That is thumbs up. It's true. Because when you go to a school that is found by a religion or by a church or by yeah. a mosque, you definitely have to do what they are doing yeah. because it's their own school, it's their own understanding. So you can't like you can't be a Christian and someone is around you, you won't preach to them about God or you won't preach to them about Jesus Christ. So it's what they believe, that's what they will give out. So it's very understanding for him to say that talk to your parents because if he's just to bring the boy in like the boy is not even legal to make his own decisions so if he's to bring the boy in it's more like you are going to take little little children to convert them to your religion and it will give you a bad name also because and the truth is that that is not his intention anyways mm. because the children want to join the children want to learn um arabic they want to join their fellow mates to be reading the Quran. so it's very understandable but the outside world won't look at it that way. Look at it as you are trying to um, cultivate it for that young age to follow your religion instead of letting them pick what they want. So I kind of understand what he said there. And also, um, when you grow up and you tend to go to, let me say, missionary school or schools like that, that is religious based, you, you kind of learn the way those people behave, the way that religion is, the way they pray, the way they eat. Like you kind of learn those things because you are. You are at a young age and like you don't you don't have experience. So whatever they are doing there, that's what you're going to pick. So I feel the parents should make sure they understand this and they should like if they want it, if they are okay, because it's not every parent that are religious based. Yeah. If they're okay with their children going to anywhere, then it's cool. And so the child already wants it. Just like you said, they said it's very hard to get into the school. But just for the father, the guy has a question, like if his parents accept, then they will give him admission. I really love his answers. I enjoyed the video. And the child was really brave for coming up to him. So guys, please let us know what you think about our reaction. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share our videos. We'll see, see you on the next one.